Hello and welcome to this super small video about how to stop your Maven uh, local Linux environment uh, for Quarkus. And uh, we're going to start with the empty image of Ubuntu 18.04. And uh, so let's first take all the sudo apt install uh, update. Sorry. So um, this image doesn't have Java and or uh, Maven uh, and Docker, of course. So we're going to install it right now. Uh, so you can see that we have um, we are in home folder and there is nothing. So let's firstly uh, call the sudo apt install unzip and we get if it's uh, absent, right? So yeah, and this will be helpful in our uh, tutorial later through this video. And uh, what you can call is call the sudo apt install default. Um, uh, GDK uh, and uh, this should be more than enough for a start. Let's install it as well. Uh, this will of course install Java and I think it will be uh, Java 11. Uh, so um, we're going to install the Graal VM in, in a later videos in a native section. Uh, this will be enough. So um, we're going to install any version of Java starting from Java 8 uh, and um, so that's why I'm using the default. Uh, this will work for all of the videos, uh, probably. Uh, and uh, the second one that we'll need to install is the Maven. So while it's installing, let's go to the Maven folder. And uh, we're going to need to have a 3.6.1 at least. So I'm going to install the latest version I have, 3.6.3. And um, you can download uh, the zip by this folder, uh, binary zip archive. So I'm going to copy the link. And once it's done, uh, I'm gonna, so you can check it, the Java is there, right? Uh, and uh, you can call the Java version and you'll see that it's 11. So that's okay. So now uh, what you can call is you can go to vget, you can download the, oops, uh, the link that we copied. I'm gonna use a zip one uh, to easier example. And uh, once it's in our folder, we can, call so I'm gonna unzip it Apache Maven uh, like this uh, and uh, I'm gonna uh, um, move everything sudo mv apache maven here I think it should be done like this uh, and we're gonna move it to uh, user local like this so because uh, because of this oops uh, mv uh, yeah because we need to add the minus r here Actually, this okay. I'm gonna copy it over. Uh, so now uh, we should have the uh, we copied the content of the Apache Maven folder, which is uh, you can see that it's a lib, and uh, I think there is something more uh, to it uh, in the user local. So let's check if we have a Maven here, and you can see that it's uh, working as expected. You can see that we have. Uh, Apache Maven 363. Not sure why it's so slow, uh, but yeah. So uh, we have this 363 Maven here, uh, and so let's uh, go to the Docker. So um, uh, to install Docker, I have here actually the example how to use it. So it suggests to remove everything that you have uh, for the Docker. Uh, Docker, if you don't, ha if you have it, and uh, we're gonna install required dependencies here. Uh, so for Docker, I'll send you a link how to install it. Uh, but you probably have one because I see that um, major people um, in my course uh, looking for uh, um, Docker and other stuff. So probably you have one. So we added the uh, GPG key and uh, it says to you can use a print. Now we can add the repository for a Docker uh like this and now uh, yeah we need to call the update after it's done we can make it a little larger as well and now um we can call the uh, we can install everything required for the uh, docker itself so that we can have a docker environment and uh, uh Let's see, it's still a specific version we don't need it. Uh, Docker CE, okay. So now once it's, it will be done, we can call the hello world 
uh, for Docker. So now we have a Java, we have a Maven, uh, and um, yeah, now we should have the uh, Docker up and running, as you can see. And yeah, so we have a hello from Docker. Uh, we probably can, uh, let me find something on my machine. Um, Quarkus course, um, give, uh, notes, let's see, I'll uh, try to, uh, let's use the health, for example. I'm gonna copy the command uh, from my computer to uh, our um, main uh, setup, right? And we'll see that it's working uh, correctly. So you can see that it's loading all the libraries and uh, after that it will, it should uh, start the, uh, we should be able to use the Maven uh, for our development. So let's uh, wait once, once it's there. So you can see the build success and you will see that we have a micro profile health in our case. Um, and um, yeah, so now we can call the Maven Quarkus dev. You will see it in the next lectures or before. I'm not sure at which stage you are currently. This will load all the required dependencies. Uh, and after that, uh, you should be able to um, see the output of the working Quarkus. Um, so yeah, so you can see this listen 5005. Okay, yeah, it was some weird issue. I just rerun the Quarkus. So uh, yeah, um, it sh should be okay for you. So we have a Maven Quarkus dev, for example. Uh, this will start the Maven environment. Uh, probably have the uh, not so powerful machine. So you can see that we have an 8080. And if we even go to the our Linux setup, for example, this one uh, without the HTTPS, and go to the 8080, it probably won't work because it's probably banned, but let's see. It's probably, yeah, we need to have 8080, but yeah, it's uh, started and um, uh, you can also call the Maven and V Quarkus there from the folder. Uh, this will of course work as expected because uh, you have uh, the wrapped up the Maven environment and you can see that both of them are running. So that's that means that it's uh, ready for you and uh, of course, Docker PS is working as well, um, although in sudo in my case, yeah. So yeah, uh, now you have the Maven, uh, Docker, and Java installed, and you're ready to uh, work with me on the next lectures. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.